One Midlands woman is bringing a whole new meaning to for the love of the game. You've all heard that phrase, of course, and so she is in the house. Lynn Habino. I got it right? You got it right. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Lynn, good morning good to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. 13 months that changed your life. Talk to us about your um, process. Well, I just decided that I had to do something about, you know, being close to 300 pounds. And yeah. um, it was my last resort. I, I had tried everything mm -hmm. and there wasn't anything that I was doing that was working. And I physically had to be stopped <laughs> from eating, oh, wow. overeating, I guess you'd say. And That's one thing you mentioned. You talked about eating. You ate and you ate and you ate. Emotional eating. I, I think a lot of women, um, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I think... A great people. number of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Gotcha. Do that, and you know, happy, mad, sad, glad. It didn't didn't matter. I would just eat for whatever occasion, and of course, eating the wrong things. And it's almost like a comfort, like in the moment you just have food. And I've heard throughout the years that many people who have done that before say, you know, it's just a comfort. You right. just want to eat something. Right. And so the love of the game um, for you was tennis. And so you decided, you tried many different avenues, like you mentioned, but you decided mm -hmm. with a, uh, to do something medical. What was that? It's called a gastric sleeve. Okay. Um, it's not the one that Al Roker had. It's right. different than the okay. one he had. <laughs> it's um, basically they remove a portion of your stomach. Um, okay. your, the stomach portion that's left is like the shape of a banana. So oh. you can only eat so much. Um, I think eventually you could stretch your stomach back out, but you'd have to really, you know, overeat um, to in to order do to do that. Mm -hmm. Wow! And folks, you're looking at some images just a few seconds ago of you playing on the court. We ran this story earlier this week. Our Derek Phillips had an right. opportunity to interview you. So why was it so important for you to change your lifestyle? Uh, well, I have a son that's 19. He's he's at the Citadel. Um, okay. And he's very active. My daughter is 13. She's also also very active and I wanted to be around for them. My husband was incredibly in, um, supportive and just said, you know, I'm tired of seeing you in pain. I, I want you to be happy and healthy. He never cared about what I looked like. He, he loved me unconditionally, but wow. he wanted me to be happy and healthy and he wanted me to be that way for my children. And, um, and I wanted it to. Yeah. So tell us about tennis and how that's helping now with your new lease on life. Uh, tennis is is the only form of exercise that okay. I've done since I had the surgery. And a lot of people, from what I understand, don't necessarily have uh, do exercise after the surgery. They just do that. But tennis, I'm probably playing three to four times a week. I have Good for a you. wonderful <laughs> group of tennis family and friends that I play with. And, and here's some of that uh, some of that video here of you playing that tennis there. Look at you, you just <laughs> taking it to the court there. All right, so really quick, with someone who's watching this morning who might feel as if, you know, I don't want to do that, or what type of encouragement would you tell people who are feeling that they're, they're down right now? Um, if they've tried everything else, yeah. um, it can be done through exercise and, okay. and weight loss, but um, if, if they're past that, they definitely should look into it. It's, um, it's changed my life for the better, and it will continue to be a, a life-changing event for me because I cannot overeat. I cannot eat but just a little bit. I have to eat slowly. I have yeah. to you know, do portion control and everything, and it's it's constant. So it is something that I'll be dealing with the rest of my life, but it's worth it. Oh, wow, Lynn Habino. Uh, Habino. I got it. Thank you so much for <laughs> being here you. this morning. Really appreciate you sharing and for sharing your story Thank as you. well. Stay with us, folks. That's more good day coming up right after the break.